Oh my goodness. Hey everyone, today's gonna be a great day for shrimp parasite removals. The tide is very far out and there are tons of shrimp holes everywhere in the mud. So we're gonna be going through as many shrimp holes as we can, trying to find shrimp infected with the parasite. And I got a big bucket with me today. We're gonna get a lot of shrimp in that bucket and help them. So let's get started. Here's some of the supplies we're using today. We have the shrimp pump. This will help us get the shrimp out of the sand. And here's the container that we're going to try and put a lot of shrimp in and help them get the parasites removed. But before I start collecting shrimp, I need to make sure that there's some cool water in the bucket. That way they don't dry up in the sun. Also, this mud is very, very sinky. You step in it and you can just sink. You can probably sink all the way down past your hips. And if you sunk all the way past your hips, that would not be a good day because this stuff is extremely hard to get out of. All right, so when I'm looking for the shrimp, I'm looking for little holes like this in the mud. You can see some holes there, there, and actually, all of the mud here is just full of holes. And in all of these holes are clams, shrimps, and parasites. So we're gonna be going through these holes, finding the shrimp that have the parasites, and taking them out. And we gotta watch out for the seagulls over there because seagulls love shrimp. I stepped out into the giant chocolate milkshake-like muddy sand and started slurping for shrimp. At first I wasn't really finding anything and I just kept slurping. I almost slurped again and then I realized, oh, here's a shrimp right here. Hey Emmy, don't worry, we're gonna help you out in just a second. Gotta make sure her room looks nice. Okay, now to go find your sisters. At first I wasn't having too much luck I was finding a shrimp here and there, but pretty soon I started finding more shrimp. Most of them had parasites, and the parasites were just getting bigger and bigger. During my search, I also found shrimpzilla. Okay, I got a big bucket full of shrimp. That is a lot of work. It's hard to just slurp through that thick mud over and over again, hundreds of times. So now the fun part, we're gonna remove them. We're going to remove all of the parasites. Let's get to it. Once we've got all of the parasites removed, we're gonna put them in this little container here, and then we're going to yeet them into the compost bin. That's for the parasites. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to sit back and just enjoy some parasite removal ASMR. Looks like the male is trying to stay in there and out as well. Oh, come on, man. Look at him. He's trying to stay in.
So this one is trying to pinch me. Last but not least, the biggest shrimp of the day with the biggest parasite of the day, Shrimpzilla. I don't normally find shrimp this big, or parasites this big for that matter, but today's a lucky day for me, it's a lucky day for you, but most of all, it's a lucky day for Shrimpzilla, because now she gets to live a happy, healthy life once we get this parasite removed. Invasive parasites like these cause major harm to the ecosystem, especially because they're not native here. They were thought to have been brought over from Eastern Asia back in the early 1980s. Now it's causing this whole shrimp population to decline. Imagine having one of these parasites living attached to your skin or on your lungs. That would be disgusting. I sure hope that these shrimp find some relief, and I know that removing a few parasites isn't going to solve this invasive species problem, but what we are hoping to do is put together a community of people who genuinely care about the ocean and want to make a difference. So if that's you, then consider subscribing to the channel.